Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This week we finally announce our Plants Day giveaway, talk about our first experience back at the movie theater, and play Deal Breaker. Hope you enjoy. Dork. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Good evening, morning, or... Afternoon. Afternoon <laughs> to everyone. Oh my god. Sorry, it is 9.38pm on this lovely day. Uh, damn. We've been going through it the last two weeks. <laughs> been a rough break it has it has hopefully you've all been well um not much has happened but like a lot has happened we made our first trip back to the movies we did oh my goodness that was so much fun we went and saw um cruella i just can't think today apparently eh, we, went and saw today. Cruella. <laughs> <laughs> we went and saw cruella and let me say so good the best disney remake they've done so far of the remakes, 100%. The best one. Even though there was, like, no singing, but... But, like, that's okay. Emma Stone is still... Okay, she killed but, that role. No, she really did, and she was fierce. However, I was really expecting, like, a Cruella DeVille the song moment, and that didn't really happen. At one point, they were working up like it, and it wasn't. Blue bulb! <laughs> <laughs> I was re- I mean, that's the only thing I would change. Other than that, the movie was great. Um... What's his name was freaking I'm hilarious. I'm gonna kiss your mouth and I don't even care where it's been. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that actor is, but he was hilarious. Um, no, the whole it was it was a really really good movie. It was well well put on. That's a high budget movie too. Oh for sure. Like and that, then they had to put it off a year. Yeah. And then of course you know it broke records because it, mm-hmm. Regal opened back up. Everybody missed the and movies. Here, yeah. Sort of like everybody's doing with cruising. Tear. We're not gonna talk about it. Um, to add on to the movies, I convinced Kaylee to go see another movie this past weekend. No, 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 no. Hold on. You used convinced in the wrong tone. I was told we were going to get Frosties. We all get in the car and end up going to see a scary movie. <laughs> there was no convincing. There was trapping. Trapping Kaylee into a situation that she could not escape. And I wasn't about to pay $30 for an Uber home. <laughs> What do you mean? So I sat, for people not watching on like YouTube or video or whatever, I sat with my head and my shirt like this, holding the on entire time. to two friends' hands. And Way to ju- not name drop. I know. High five. Way to go. Um, holding on to two friends' hands for dear life. Like lost circulation. They're like, texting me during the movie. Oh my goodness, Kaylee's hands are so sweaty. Help. And it's like, <laughs> I'm 100% at fault because I drug her into it. But also... And then tried to have me pay for the ticket to I my own not. anxiety I attack. No, no, no. I did not. Uh, it, was, it was... I had said, okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to go, but I'm not paying for my ticket because I'm not paying for the anxiety attack. And I'm not a smart aleck at all. and was like, oh, you're paying me back. No. I obviously know any time that I Apple request Kaylee, she's never going to pay me back. <laughs> she is the worst with it. I am pretty sure there is still a $40 request sitting in that thread somewhere. I could never... Want to bet? I can Don't make no. me pull it up. Because the $40 request plus dinner tonight. What, Kaylee? What are you going to say? On. Yeah, we are. Because she knows. Anyways. Oh, and be right. A Quiet Place 2. Don't recommend. 100% recommend. It was, if not as good as the first, better. Okay, but when that demon, like when she went to go move the cloth of the like convertible <laughs> and that demon just jumped. No, I'm sorry. Spoiler That's alert. So- <laughs> That's the end of it. Like I would No, it was, it really wasn't. That was the middle of the movie. I was not the end. I literally hate you. Mm. But like, no, if that was me, like there's no reaction. I'm just dead on the spot. Like that's You wouldn't it. have made it to the second movie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Two of those kids are deaf and I wouldn't have made it? Correct. You're right. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> like, the the thing that she did with her, uh, is, what's that called? The hearing aid? the C. No. No? What? It's the... cohicular what? implant? Co, co something? It looked like a, I don't know. Implant. I mean, it's an, a tip, yeah, I don't it's know. It's like a high tech hearing aid, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. I don't know what it is. But what she did with the speaker is really cool. Um, however, if I saw one of those things coming at me and that's it, I'm dead on the spot. Yeah, I believe it. You wouldn't have survived. Um, but that I was also trip number wanna, two to the movie theaters. In like two weeks. Um, I also want to point out like everything's off, so 
this isn't centered. This is on the other side of us. We have speakers hung up. Like, everything's different. Don't judge. We're in the process. Our setup's going to be changing pretty soon. And this Whee! is, like, the the middle messy area where things aren't, like, ready yet. And we're in the cocoon right now. <laughs> we're not we're yet the, the butterfly. We're in the cocoon. Butterfly, moth, we don't know yet, but we're there. Bitch, I'm a cocoon butterfly. Cocoon slash chrysalis. Anyways. Um, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe like a mosquito. You're like just as like a like. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. No, I'm not. Why um, did I just think of "Fly on the Wall" by Miley Cyrus? What? The song. The song. Fly on the wall. The f- what? <laughs> Is that what that's called? <laughs> Fly on the wall. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my gosh. And you blame me for ADHD moments in this? Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting here rubbing your leg hair. Whoopsie. Um, okay, I think we have a game. You think? I mean, I know we have a game, but if you think we have a game, we're on like two separate pages. All right, so we have a game. <laughs> I'm going to hit you in a sec. Hiya. Just kidding. <laughs> so Kaylee 100% stole this game. Yeah. <laughs> no, I saw it being done somewhere else. Heard and it. I was like, heard it, saw it. I- no, I saw that I was watching. I was watching. Um, um, so, two people playing this game, and I thought it would be really cool to do on here. It's called Deal Breaker. Correct. So, we have a set of questions. Well, one of our friends made these questions. We did not. I'm going to give it to her right here. Shout out to Selena. Selena. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta look out for Selena. No, Celine, true MVP. Love her. I wouldn't go that far. I'm just kidding. She's amazing. I'm sorry. She holds my hand in scary movies, so she's top notch. We've officially name dropped. We've yet to make it through an episode without name dropping, but Celine, we see you real. We I see, see you. We boo. see you watching. We do. She's like our number one fan. And she is. Way above somebody else, but I'm not going to say that person's name because then they're going to be like, oh, three episodes in a row. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, Papa oh, Kiss. Sh- what did I just say? <laughs> Sorry, Papa Ken. Papa Ken. Okay, so I'll start. Um, I'll go, so we haven't looked over these yet. So I'm going to go from the top and go to the first five. Okay. And then you're going to go from the bottom and go up. Okay. All I know is that there's ten. Okay. Okay, so question number one. Wait, we didn't explain the game at all. Oh, <laughs> so okay. So what Deal Breaker is, is he's going to ask a question and we have to decide if we were, if that. If question, you were going to pursue a relationship, a relationship, if this would be a deal breaker or not. Can I give a good first one? Sure. Um, if this is a jab at me in any type of way, keep no, it to yourself. No, it okay. wasn't. Okay, go ahead. It would have nothing to do with your surprise kid. Put That's not where I was. Jar. Put a dollar in the jar. Kaylee started a Zoe jar, so anytime that I say something about her having a surprise kid, I have to put a dollar in the jar. I don't think we've had a start... conversation about Zoe yet. Oops. <laughs> I'm just going to start subtracting a dollar out of all her Apple Pay requests. <laughs> You're down to 39. <laughs> okay. If they lived in a funeral home. Like in the top. You have a fuzzy. Ow. Pulling my hair. I got the fuzzy. Um, I'm not going to say it's a deal breaker. However, I don't want to be there. At, like you see what I'm saying? Oh no, you have to move in. The fuck I do. So is it a deal breaker or not? If I have to move in, like if I'm expected to live there, then yeah. Okay. All right, moving on to Celine's questions. No, 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 you have to answer. We're both answering. You're just asking the first five. Oh. No. That's you would move in. I mean, I wouldn't care. It, to a funeral home. I'm gonna be there one day, anyways. No, see, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. See, I don't. I don't. I don't flux with the dead. That's what she's about to say. <laughs> All right, so deal breaker question number one. They're still really good friends with their ex. I want to say that's not a deal breaker for me. However, I know that deep down I'm a... Jealous? I'm a jealous person. So I would... <sighs> but, like, you should be able to gauge the friendship. See, but... Me and Casey... That's entirely different. Where's though. the tea? That's entirely different. No, though. like that's a scenario. Like, would that be a deal breaker? No. 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 Okay. I mean, I want to say no, but it's probably a yes, and I'd be irrational about it. So I just have to be dramatic first. 
start here. I would go with a no because that would be like me. Well, you're literally friends with your ex. Yeah, exactly. So moving on. All right. They're obsessed with astrology, like really into signs. Now, when we say obsessed, is that like constantly yeah, talking Yeah, like you about wake it? up, you like, check your horoscope. You go to bed, you check your horoscope. So that wouldn't bother me. What would You're bother only me? friends with people that match your horoscopes. So I don't think even that would bother me. I think what would bother me is anytime, like if I said something, they'd be like, oh, you're such a Scorpio today. And they're like, yeah, that's me. Like <laughs> literally I was born <laughs> in November. that's why we're good friends? I thought Scorpios I don't, aren't I thought to get Scorpios along. Yeah, I, I really don't know Jack about it, but I didn't. I don't think that Scorpio is typically. I think it's all extremely stupid. I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker unless it was like a constant, like, oh, you're such a Scorpio. I would one hundred percent, one hundred percent. If you're like that obsessed, if that is like your belief, you. Uh, I don't know what happened, but, like, your see, brain's not there. See, but I recently did, what is it, a star chart? What? I don't know. It's where you, like, find out your moon and your sun and your something. I don't There's know. There's one, we have one moon and we have one sun. No, but, like, Sag- Sagittarius, I don't know what get all the, there's a whole star chart. All right, we're not getting into it. Later. But I did that and I Celine, actually found Celine, you put it, us in a, in a rabbit hole here. I, I did think it was pretty interesting because something's in my legging, that's why I keep doing that. Oh, yeah? Um, You're not just rubbing your leg here? <laughs> no. Lift them up. We all know you're going shaved. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag mom life. We're moving on. They only brush their teeth once a day. Deal breaker. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's gross. We're not getting... <laughs> All right. I drink too much coffee to only brush my teeth once a day. I thought they said something else. Okay, they clap every time the plane lands. No, I, I mean, do that. I was about to say I'm dramatic. I was like, we made I'd it. I ride the do roller that. coaster Thank at the movie. You. Like, hello. That's true. Yeah, no, that that wouldn't bother me, especially because I typically when I travel, it's not mostly on a plane. Yeah, because you're weird. Okay, last but not least, they order chicken fingers every time you go out to eat. That doesn't bother me. Actually, I'm not going to say that because Brandon only orders burgers at restaurants. Name drop. My <laughs> Instagram is public. It's out there. I'm just <laughs> um, Brandon only orders like burgers at restaurants, and only I'm constantly like, stop. <laughs> and I'm constantly like, here, just get like something. Like, here's fried chicken. Do you want fried chicken? No, I, I'm gonna get the burger. No, but you get the burger everywhere we go. So it's not a deal breaker. It's just annoying. Okay, you're up. Oh, really? I would say no to that question. It's not a deal breaker for you? No, because I don't really care what you eat as long as you're not hangry and I don't want to have to jab you in the throat. Moving on. <laughs> they really don't like dogs. You skipped one, I think. <laughs> the only reason I know is because I just cheated no, and read it. they order chicken fingers every You're going you from know. the bottom up. Oh, shit. Shoot. Roar. Crap. Beep. <laughs> they have entrepreneur on their job title on Tinder, on their Tinder profile. I mean, I think everybody has that. I don't really read their job titles. I've, I've never had a Tinder. I've been in the same relationship since I was 16. You're right. But I've, Tinder was always think, fun just to go woo, 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 woo. It's think, very, 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 like, uh, shallow. If you're just going off looks. Oh, I can, yeah. Well, I think that's pretty, isn't that typically what that app's used for? Mm-hmm. Then again, I'm kind of biased towards, like, dating. I used a different app. I'm, I'm kind of biased <laughs> towards, like, dating things like that just because, um, I don't know if you know this, my parents met on a dating mm-hmm. website. Um, uh, yeah. Shout out to her parents. No name drops here. <laughs> we'll talk about Bren later. Oh! Um, name drop. Drop it off. Sorry. Can you not read? <laughs> Like, okay, okay, no, no, no. Things were highlighted and crossed out. Celine, I'm going to need you to organize these a little better. The, oh, this is a good one. Okay. They have an Android. Deal Peace breaker. Out. Yeah, that's... Stockhouse. If our conversation ain't blue, we ain't rocking. Oh! And if we ain't rocking, we ain't... Beep. Moving on. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, moving on. You can fill in the blank with whatever you want. Pizza rolling. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't rolling dough. Pizza. 
We ain't rolling pizza. Um, <laughs> chew with their mouth open. Ew. I can't do it. I That's don't, just like no manners. N- I, well, not only is it no manners, but the sound... Stop! Literally, you knew where I was going. The sound of people eating just makes my skin crawl. I will never forget the day we were at work and we were eating pizza from a place in High Springs. because like There's the only like two pizza places in High Springs, so you might as well just say Pepperonis. it. Pepperonis. And, ooh, did you hear that? Mm-hmm. I did. Okay, I did. anyways, we were eating that. They have the best homemade ranch. Oh, and you know who really loves their ranch? Our old, well, your old manager. Well, she, you technically still work there. So our current manager, we're not going to say her name because, like, I don't want her to talk to me about it at work like she did last time when we mentioned that we were on our phones too much and she, like, brought it up every single time. Yeah, okay. Jennifer, hello. Name Anyways. <laughs> We all love their pizza, but I was eating in the office one day with Kaylee, and she was saying something, and I literally went one time, like I smacked my lips one time, and I honestly thought she was going to swing on me. She got very it's aggressive. Just, <laughs> did not get aggressive. <gasps> no, it's just, I'm not as bad at it as my mom, though. Like, my mom has to have the TV or music playing in the background if people are eating around her. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. And I don't know if that's something that I... I don't ever remember her commenting on it when we were younger, but now that I'm thinking about it, there probably was, like, the TV on in the background. Not that, like, she was watching it, but just background noise. But, no, I don't like I the sound I have to do that when all. I do homework. I don't even like the sound of my kids eating. It just grosses me out. And they're toddlers, so they're just naturally pretty yeah. disgusting when they eat. You're right. Okay. They hate texting slash refuse to do it. I'm not going to say it's a deal breaker. What do you mean by that? Like, do you mean communicating in general? No, it just says they hate texting slash refuse to do it. Like, they won't send a text message. That's stupid. Well, not, I mean, I don't know. Some people prefer... Can we snap? Like, do we have another way to communicate instantly? I mean, I'm assuming that means Because if not, you're asking phone. to go back to the 1800s, and that's, <laughs> assume, like, done with me. I assume, I don't know, we'll have to confirm with Selena, but I assume <laughs> she means, like, the only talk on the phone, and I've been doing this for, like, a solid three minutes, so I'm going to stop. Um, they, I assume she means, like, they only will talk on the phone. Can you stop? Um, mm. And wrong. if that's not, if that's the case, like, it's not a deal breaker, but it's highly annoying just because, like, I don't like So you never, ever, ever got a text back from Brandon. You'd be fine. I hardly do to begin with. You right. Brandon's just not, he's not a texter. It's not his thing. To get a hold of him, I have to call him. And even then, it's skeptical (laughs) that he'll answer. The only people I talk to on the phone are you or my mom. Yeah, most of the time, if you're with your mom, you're talking to me on the phone. And if you're with me, you're talking to your mom on the phone. Yeah. So, it's It's not a deal, it's not a deal breaker, but it is annoying. What? Deal breaker? Or... Oh, yeah, I did. I said they, they're asking to go back to the 1800s. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, shit. Shoot. Oop. I would love to comment on the fact that, like, I'm totally in athletic clothes. I mean, the fit's great, sweetie. I didn't do my hair. The fit's great, sweetie. Oh, my sweetie. goodness. My manager today. Look at that. Avoided name drop. I'm starting to... Is this what it's like to have to think about what you say before you say it? Because if it is, no wonder I never did it when I was younger. Because that's <laughs> difficult. Like... No. I, I don't you. like it. Like, I have to think before I speak. That's why. Ew. I think you're supposed to do that in general. But I don't. <laughs> Anyways, a manager that I have was like, oh, we need to get your picture today. And I'm like, I will come to work now prepared for a picture every day going forward until picture is taken. But you're not doing it today. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had no sleep. I rolled to work looking like this. And... That yeah. was that was, was very rough. professional looking. It was me. rough. Okay, last that question. That moment when I have to go into my box to get the hair product that I keep at work because sometimes I roll out of bed. <laughs> Most you of keep the time. hair product at work? It's just a little container. It's okay because I someone else at work brings their portable hair <laughs> straightener. <laughs> Which I'm not going to lie, a time or two, it did keep my legs flat. I was say, you had down. to use it. I, I have, yeah. Okay, the last one. They don't, they really don't like dogs. Bye. That's not a deal. Breaker. I want a puppy. My kids will have a puppy. Okay. I mean, I have a dog. It's either so gonna it's... be a puppy or a goat, and I don't think you want the goat in the house. Fun story about that when I was oh, younger. Oh dear. When I was younger. <gasps> I had pigs in the house. Boop. When I. I was... just really couldn't avoid that. When I was younger, and by younger I mean like thir- No, I was older than that. I was like fourteen or fifteen. It's kicking in. Uh... Stop. <laughs> when I was like 
14 or 15. The caffeine's Me, in. my parents were at work. <coughs> Excuse me. And You're excused. You may continue. Me and like four. There's Don't so say me friends. and my five. No, I was about me say, and my five four siblings. No, there was four. Me and my siblings were at home, and some goats wandered onto our property. <laughs> we lived on like five acres. Out in BFE. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there was like three or four goats wandered onto our property, and we used to have the front door open in the summer because. Shout out to Jamie for teaching me what BFE meant continue you didn't know what that meant not for a long time oh my goodness i was like we used to like the leave the door open because my parents would get aggravated to have the ac running because we were just going in and out all day and so they are at work door was open if you're about to tell me a goat walked up into your house no, i had no, a pony in my not house not a goat three or four goats were just chilling Did in the they house drop little us. pellets no no no, no were no. they fainting goats i don't know i didn't Aww. try i don't think so they were well, like they had like the Billy Goat's Gruff thing, mm-hmm. but no, they were just chilling in the house. We did have a rather large pig in there one time too, um, and then there was been a few random dogs. The front door was always open, so animals ventured in all the time. But yeah, it made we for great had memories. a pony in the house once, and we had a house trained pot belly pig. Oh, see, this pig that came in, he was not house trained. He she was. Oh no, this thing was massive. I'm talking like someone raised it to eat it. Mm. Bacon. <laughs> you ever had chocolate covered bacon? I want to say yes, but I can't. I have had a chocolate covered potato chip though. That wasn't my question. I don't. I don't remember. I want to say yes, but it's possible I haven't. So I'm not. Papa Ken can sure. get you some. Papa Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I'll text ah. you my address. <laughs> <laughs> you can overnight it to me. Hmm? Um, no, I. I don't. I don't. He can, and he can get you some shirts. I. I saw the message. Did you? Yeah, I did. Some shirts. Some shirts. I did see some the message. Some towels. Some cups. I have no need for towels or cups, but I did see the message about shirts. Business plug. If you get to do it, I get to do it. My business plug is different. Yeah, but. Okay. He's about to start sponsoring us. He just doesn't know it yet. What's up, Popkin? <laughs> <laughs> so we are moving on to our giveaway. Woo-hoo. <laughs> so. We have partnered with Plant Stay. Let me straighten that out. Plant Stay. Which is a local plant studio in Gainesville. Your mom's going to love the fact that I use that term. It's a plant studio, yeah. Because it is not a plant shop. No. You don't just go up in there to shop. You go in there to converse. You go in there it's to... It's an experience. It is. You do everything there. Mm-hmm. You can make your own like potting soil mixtures. I don't know if that's the right term. Um, you can go in and, oh my goodness, their pots, they have so many pots. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to go on tangents if I keep explaining what Plant Stay is. Anyways, yes. So, can I? Go ahead. Okay. So, Plant Stay is a studio here in town where you can, there's a few options. You can either come find your first plant if you have, don't have one yet and you want to get into house plants. We have something for every level of plant parent. They do. <laughs> Including the ones that tend to kill plants. <clears throat> Me. There's also, um, if you're struggling with the plant you already own, you can bring it in. We can try to help you diagnose what's going on. That was me two weeks your, later after getting my first plant. <laughs> fix your plant up. Maybe recommend some um, better soil or um, maybe kind of help train you on what this plant specifically wants. They're very nurturing. <laughs> um, we genuinely care about the plants in the studio and the plants you have at home, and we just want everyone to be able to enjoy a greener living area. Um, so Exhibit A, B, C. Wait, it's over there. D. D. E F G H I J K. All of the plants in the shop currently are plant stay plants. In the shop? In the studio. In the Sorry. studio. In the studio are plant stay plants, uh, and we love them dearly. Do you mean here? Yeah, all of the plants right here. This is a studio? No, no, no. All the plants in... No, this is not the studio. Okay. All the plants here are all from the... plant stay. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so we've partnered with plant stay to do a little giveaway. Uh, the giveaway is going to be a year subscription to the Plant Parents Club, which is basically for 12 months, you will receive a plant a month. And on the day of pickup, you also get a 10% discount on anything else 
if you wanted to get a planter or one of the earth Ponics candles um, you can use that 10% off on that day um, and there's also a rewards program so you can do a little mm, combining mm, there mm, mm, um, mm, mm. Keep going. You just really I'm living for this. The deals. Yeah. You're really feeling the deals. So um, that is going to be the giveaway, a year subscription to the Plant Parents Club. Which what she's saying is 12 free plants. 12 free plants. And 120% off total for a, like the year. That's what you get. Think about that. You just worded that so weird. That's a 13th plant. You just worded this. No, if you add up all your yeah, 10%. No, yeah, but it... Okay. <laughs> 10% off on the day of pickup. Um, and it's just a really great program. And one of our... Um, I saw shadows. One of my good friends, Maria, is actually in... Shout out to Maria because these are actually her plants. Um, is part of the subscription subscription <laughs> um, so that's going to be the giveaway and we will link all of the giveaway rules not link we will write all the giveaway rules in the description on our post on instagram and facebook um, so you can find them there and we will also tag plant stay so you can go check out their instagram and maybe go visit the shop so and if you visit the shop you're most likely going to see my face because i am there all the time <laughs> I'm so sorry if that happens to you. Oh my goodness, I'm shut up. <laughs> Anywho, how do you win said giveaway? Said giveaway. So the instructions are going to be written in the body text under the pictures. I forgot the word in the comment section. There it is. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to share, not share, you're going to tag as many people in the comments as you want. Every tag is an, an entry, entry. Um, you have to follow both us and plant stay and then if you want a little bonus entry you can share it on your story on Instagram um, or share it on Facebook either or I don't it's fine. but every comment is an entry an entry so step one follow okay pod and plant, and stay. plant stay step two step two hit the heart Hit the heart. You gotta like the post on Instagram. And Facebook. Not on both. Okay. You gotta at least like the post. Like the post. Step three. I love how I said step two and I was still holding up one finger. <laughs> step three. <laughs> comment, 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 comment. For more entries. And step four, share on story. That's it. You get if you're confused by any of the steps we just said, rewind it because they were very specific. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> so if you want a year of plants. And 10% off and discounts, every pickup day. Every pickup day, which is on the first Friday of every month. Um, you should tell them what happens on the last Sunday. On the last Sunday of the month? Is it on Sunday? Oh, hell no. I don't remember. When is wine day? Wine day is on, I believe it is the last. It's not a Sunday. It's a Friday. No, it's not a Friday. <laughs> it's a Wednesday. I made her goof. Uh, no, I don't remember. But we do have a wine night at the shop. All a wine night, wine day at the shop. Also, so come if in. If you wanted to come in, browse, get some wine, browse the plants, come have a great conversation. There's always an excellent playlist on. You write <laughs> when you write. Um, you write. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can message us here on OKPod, or you can message Plant Stay, or you can... Find our personal Instagrams. And message us that way. We're out there. I probably won't respond. I don't get on my socials much anymore. Maria's slowly creeping in. She's trying to get in frame, so we're just going to see how much longer it's going to take. <laughs> no, nope. Okay, she bailed. We talked about your plants. They're beautiful. Oh, God. You did so good, sweetheart. Yeah. <clears throat> Snack break. Open up, baby cakes. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh. All right. Um, anywho, <laughs> I think mean, that's everything. So mm -hmm. while she's got a mouthful, I'm going to recap. You need a like, okay pod, and plant stay. Okay? Then you need to catch. Huh. Score. Then, after you like Instagram and plant stay, 
you need to like the post. And in order to like the post, you just double tap, click the like button. You just gotta like the post on whatever form of social media you're using. Then you need a comment, again, on whatever social media form you're using, as many times as you want, every comment's an entry, and then you need to share it onto your either Facebook or Instagram story for another entry. And I think that we have... I think you've reiterated it a few times. And again, it will be in the comment section below on Instagram and Facebook. Correct. And I love that this entire episode, we managed not to say we're going to put something here because we always forget. So people will just go back and see us like doing this. And it's like, are you trying to get my attention? What are you trying to do here? Oh, it's not showing. Oh, there's another plant over here that is out of frame. It's a Monstera deliciosa. She's not going to geek out. All right. For all your plant information, follow Plants Day. Even if you don't want to partake in the giveaway, you should still follow them on Instagram or Facebook because they're always <laughs> posting, like, awesome, 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 awesome information on how to have a green thumb and how to care for your plants. We do enjoy helping people with their plants. We just enjoy plants in general. And I'm being creeped out. I think it's time to wrap it up. I think so, too. So, we will see everybody next Tuesday, 8 a.m. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things okay. Bye.